Hello guys, in this video, we are going to review the Arya Mod, uh, Arya Mod A5 2017 full port for J7 2016 and Galaxy J7 Prime. So uh, this will work on both of the devices, but the uh, file links are different. So I have provided all the different uh, links down below in the comment section, uh, not the comment section, down below in the description. So you can check those links. So let's start with the review and installation. So here I have a J7 2016 as you can see I don't have a J7 Prime but all the custom ROM and it's fully same so I provided the links for both J7 2016 and J7 Prime and it has ROM control same every app and everything is same it's just for two different devices so now we will reboot your device so you can reboot your J7 Prime or J7 2016 into recovery mode by using the volume up button the home button and the power button We are in the team win recovery. First, go to backup. Now, to select everything and go to still storage, micro SD internal storage. Swipe to backup. Now, go to wipe, advanced wipe, dial big system, data, and cache. No need to wipe any uh, advanced thing like the internal and SD card. Now, again, go to install. And here is the area mod. So it's for JSON 16. I provide the link down below for the JSON Prime 2 so you can download it. So Aria Mod and Toad Marshmallow. And uh, here we have the uh, okay, I will select the Aria Mod theme. Next. I agree with the terms and services. Now we need to select your device. So if you flashed uh, this on J7 on 16 version, you can see a board uh, devices. So you can need a, you can have the kernel making of your choice flash kernel. Also, it's allowed for the J7 Prime 2. So you can see the options on the J7 Prime 2. Now we have country CSC. So as you can know, India is INS. Go down below. I and you okay sorry the code for India is I and you INS I think but I got a whole day now we have Samsung boat bloatware please make your choice so what you need to install is I will choose as secure as power this is good, uh, these are good features I don't want the SL this voice and all okay also as is a good feature so other things you need to next now you can choose the camera style. I will choose the Note 7 camera because it's good. Everything works. Now blur style. I will choose blur. Touch wish panel. So I will select the touch wish 2017. So select this. So you won't get any extra things. So I just want the 100,000 uh, thousand plus fonts. You can, if you want wiper, you can install it too. Should I do a full wipe? Yes. I want to do a full wipe, multi boot and internal storage one. No, I want to keep all of my setup, not recommended. Okay, so you need to select yes if you are coming from any other ROM. Okay, now the installation process has started. So let this thing complete. As you guys can see, the installation is completed. So click in just next and now reboot device because there is something else. Our device will automatically reboot and it's not changing any logos are there but the boot animation is changed you're getting a normal white uh, black on white so yeah white background uh, with the black so this is the a5 2017 boot animation
so nothing more about that uh, it's a common uh, boot animation so let this from boot up i'll be uh, giving the full review and the anti score will be down in the description below the rom has been booted up and first thing you can see there are many battery icons so due to a lot of customization is inside this rom you can see here we get the rom control so there we can see some conflicts in some battery icons so you can customize this rom in a whole different level you can hide this everything and you can change this uh, things also so here is a quick settings panel we get your multi window switch you get always on display and all uh, those are not working because they need some kernel edits okay and here is a brightness slider we don't get here the brightness slider and notification dashboard here we have some device info like the device model android version build version battery level wi-fi info network alarm next alarm up time and here we get the geo career label this is the settings we'll go to apply device it's the galaxy s7 a5 2000f so okay you can change it by editing the build prop we get the 6.0 aria mod version 1 version 3 uh, version 1 for the j 16 you have the rom developers and contributors and all things these are the apps we get with the rom we get also the edge screen the edge screen and edge screen is fluid not like it's not like laggy we don't get any air command and thing let's directly switch to rom control in the rom control we get various and various of things which i'm going to uh, Talk to you about is the status bar clock mode. You can customize your status bar clock and everything here. You can see there's many options. I'm not going to set it accordingly because it will take a hell lot of time. Here we have battery settings. We have the three minute battery mode. You can get the stock battery too. Yeah, many of the things you should experience. This is like the best ROM of all time. Hidden buttons on the status bar, signal position. Custom background for status bar, recent by our mods. Then we have the new fails panel settings. Here are tons a lot of tweaks. The phone mods, framework and journal, launcher mods. We get your lock screen mods. We can adjust the time display, a timeout. Okay, again here we get the sound and dialogues going to other mods now we get useful apps emoji switcher dpi changer dpi changer doesn't work like too good for me because i wanted to reset it at 265 and it was not setting like fail false value so you can use the root essentials app to set it for any and here you can set the theme to black for the rom control so this is everything in the ROM control, we get this much of apps, all those apps, asset icons and some different things Like see the camera and everything, so the camera is the same, the Note 7 camera It is not the asset or a camera it's, no, it's the Note 7 camera Yeah, all those features, you can click pictures, also flash is working Here are some filters Okay, let's see again here we get S Note app, we get the Omni switch. So you can enable this as your recent. So this is a normal recent and this is the Omni switch. See this, you can switch to apps very quickly. So this is a handy feature for all of you. Those you want some new recent apps. Here's the asset music, we get the S Secure 2, Samsung Notes and S Note 2. Wow, same apps. We get clock, calculator, everything themed and that is good. We get here as dream UX. You can also edit this information, what to show and what to not. There are no advanced features. We get your normal features like this. I'm going to device maintenance. We're checking the RAM now. Let's see if it performs more than the Supernova asset version 4. Then I'll be using this as my daily driver. Okay. 
847 probably the best than the supernova asset version 4 so i am thinking to switch it to my daily driver so this was the rom review we get a5 wallpapers nothing else we get samsung theme support too this was the review for the aria mod port it is a very good rom i will also do the nt2 benchmark test and sorry i couldn't upload the screenshot i will uh, try to upload a screenshot in google drive and send you the link so you can see the screenshot and also the entity score will be down in the description below so if you like this video press the like button if you don't press the dislike button also the feedback will be in the comment section below and also for any type of help regarding this custom drum for the json 16 and the json prime comment down below in the comment section you have it uh, like freedom full freedom to comment down and subscribe for more videos for my channel i cannot show the youtube and all thing so just subscribe to my channel you know down in the red subscription button you can subscribe it it's for free yeah it's for free <laughs> everyone is for free so goodbye now we will catch you in the next video